the problems there. Now, let's talk about our situation. There are people who talk about local sighting, they talk about global sighting, and they talk about Saudi sighting. Now, Ikhtilaf al or multiple horizons or local sighting and Ittihad al Wahdat al single horizon global sighting, these are two well-known fiqhi positions. However, these days there is a third new position being promoted that is just follow Saudi Arabia. This position is different from both local sighting which would uh, and, and it's different from global sighting or Ittihad al because global sighting means except the first sighting report whether it's from Saudi or from Nigeria or Egypt or America, anywhere, without restricting that report to be from Saudi Arabia. So this new position of following only Saudi sighting for PF places outside Saudi Arabia, it really has no basis in Sharia and it can be proved wrong by the following very simple argument. Let's say at Makkah sensor time, the Hilal was too small to be seen. Now after, now after about 11 hours, let's say you are in California where the sun is now setting, in these 11 hours, of course, the Hilal would, be, would grow in size, it will become bigger and let's say it crosses the threshold and becomes visible. Now, I'm sure no scholar can justify saying that these California people should now ignore their own sighting and wait for next day's announcement of Saudi sighting. So, here's a very clear, clear example of why following only Saudi sighting is baseless, it's wrong. Let me just repeat it. Let's say at Makkah sensor time, the Hilal is too small to be seen, but later on, after about 11 hours, when the sun is setting in California, it becomes bigger and it is seen. I don't think anyone can, using using the Quran, so justify that California should now ignore its own Hilal and wait for Saudi next day. So, this is a very simple proof that only following Saudi sighting for countries other than Saudi Arabia is an invalid position. Now, people say that this has never happened. People say, oh, they will see in Saudi before California. That's not true. We talked about that before. East and West are relative and any place could see the Hilal first, you know. And in fact, the chances of Hilal sighting in Western Hemisphere before Saudi are quite high. Uh, and this can be calculated very simply as follows. The time difference between Saudi and California is about 11 hours, while the total time around the world is 24 hours. Thus, the chances of the curve, that the curve for the first visibility of Hilal sighting falls between Saudi and California is about 8, 11 by 24, about 45 percent. Thus, almost one in two times, California should sight the Hilal one date before Saudi. The reason this, we never hear of this is itself a proof of the Saudi errors, that they are often wrong. Okay, now let's talk about Ittihad al-Matale. Ittihad al actually corresponds to the flat earth and it is actually impossible to implement. If the earth was flat, then there would be one matla, one horizon, and the Hilal would be seen at the same time everywhere in the world. But then there will also not be any time zones, and the prayer times would also be the same everywhere. But due to the spherical shape of the earth, there are differences in time zones. Thus, when the sun sets in California, if the Hilal is first seen there, it's already about, about Fajr time in Makkah, and the next day around Asr in Indonesia. How can Makkah or Indonesia start fight, fasting by a California Hilal sighting? They can't. So, it is impossible to implement Ittihad al or global sighting. Also, it's difficult to authenticate far away sightings and this issue of Ittihad al or global sighting makes us prone to the frequent errors in Saudi Arabia and elsewhere. And it also is based on the artificial uh, international date line which has been changing also. Now, let's talk about Ittihad al Ikhtilaf al-Matali is actually supported by astronomy. The earth is spherical and the horizons are multiple, which means Ikhtilaf al And the local sighting of Hilal is like local sighting of sun for the local prayers. So, what we see is that astronomy tells us that the first Hilal sighting, the lunar date line or actually the lunar date curve, you know this roughly parabola shaped curve, they can occur anywhere on this map. They could be here, they could move to the left, they could move to the right next month and so on and so forth. So, what happens is that uh, astronomy supports that this lunar date, date curve which shifts every month, it divides the world into two parts. One which see the Hilal on different dates. So, areas inside this roughly parabola shaped curve should see the Hilal today and those areas which are outside this curve should not see the Hilal today. So, if the earth was flat, then of course, instead, uh, we would see the Hilal everywhere all over the earth, but that is not the case. And if that was the case, then we will also be praying Fajr at the same time all over the world. 
Now, just look at this curve a little more carefully. Uh, actually, it's not one curve, but you see four curves here. The first curve says it's easily visible by naked eye. The second curve says it's possible to be seen, but only if there's perfect conditions. The third curve says you can see easily with a telescope. And the fourth curve says you can see with a telescope only if, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's very good conditions. So, uh, so, or actually the third curve says you, you need a telescope to actually find the moon first and then maybe you'll see the moon with naked eye. But the fourth curve says that no, you can only see with the telescope and not by naked eye. And we'll talk more about these curves later on. But this curve, the message to right now is that these curves divide the earth into multiple sections and not all of the earth can see on one date. So, Ikhtilaf al is supported by astronomy. Ikhtilaf al is also supported by uh, scholars. First of all, before we go to that, Ikhtilaf al also leads to better accuracy since we don't get influenced by the incorrect decision in distant places and it makes the dates roughly, you know, predictable roughly about 80% of the time for the naked eye sighting criteria. So, we should in fact aim for having Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha celebration around much of the populated world in about 24 hours. But this 24 hours will be two solar dates because of the spherical geometry and the artificial international solar date line. So, roughly 24 hours most of the earth except the areas near the poles should, you know, uh, celebrate Eid al-Fitr or Eid al-Adha. Now, having two solar dates is not such a big thing. I mean, in fact, at any one moment of time, one part of the world has one solar date, like right now, and another eastern part of the world has the next solar date. So, even one moment of time can have two solar dates. And Ikhtaraf al is supported by ulama like Sheikh Ula Taymin, uh, Ibn Taymiyyah, Mufti Taqri Usmani, and many, many others. And it is practiced by Saudis themselves in Saudi Arabia. Uh, also, the classical uh, jurists, Shafi, Maliki, Hanbali, they all support Ikhtilaf al-Matale. Only the Hanafi, the early Hanafi jurists, they, at a time when it was thought that the earth was flat, they were supporting Ittihad al-Matale, but that was for short distances and not for the whole world. And today, countries like India, Pakistan and Bangladesh, where Hanafi fiqh is dominant, Ittihad al-Matale is not practiced. Now, let's talk about the views of, astronomy, of Islamic scholars. First of all, I talked about Sheikh Al-Athamin, who we met personally, and they support Ikhtilaf al-Matale. He supports Ikhtilaf al-Matale, saying that Muslims outside Saudi should do their own sighting. And there's a reference uh, to his fatwa in this book, Fatwa Islamia by, by Sheikh bin Baz, Sheikh Al-Athamin, Sheikh Jibreel, by Darul Watan and Nashir. Uh, Sheikh Al-Athamin also writes that Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah supports Ikhtilaf al-Matale, or local sighting. Saudi Arabia itself practices it. And he, in fact, supports Ikhtilaf al-Matale, Sheikh Taymiyyah supports Ikhtilaf al-Matale for Eid al-Adha also, meaning for all 12 months, including Eid al-Adha. And this reference to his fatwa. And many, many scholars, you know, have a consensus pretty much that for all 12 months you should follow the same system, meaning both Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. And this reference to his fatwas. This is the book I was talking about uh, by, as you can see, it's by Sheikh bin Baz. Sheikh Uthaymin, Sheikh Jibreel, the top three scholars of Saudi Arabia. And in this chapter, Ikram the Khul al-Shuhur wa Khurud wa Rawat al-Hilal, the rules regarding the entering of the month and the exit and the seeing of Hilal, says very clearly, Rawat al-Hilal fil balad, la tazam jamil bilad bi ikamihi. Hilal siding in a country does not obligate all other countries by its ruling. His, uh, um,